happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah so we got another huge update i know you guys could probably already tell it is going down just by that title alone you're definitely going to want to check this one out we've got kamala harris proven that her dangerous policies are only going to drive this country further into the crown in this newest update guys they keep trying to say that Kamala Harris is you know equal opportunity for all guys but what it really is we're seeing is she's putting America last instead of putting us first guys I'm excited to get in this one I'm straight into it so make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button before we even get into it you guys hit that like button also hit that subscribe button for your boy without further ado let's jump straight into it folks listen to this that is why why also, starting with our administration, we gave TPS, temporary protected status, to Haitian migrants, 55,000. And then more recently, we extended temporary protected status to over 100,000 Haitian migrants for that very reason, that they need support, they need protection. Wow, guys. Wow. That's all I have to say. I mean, it, I'm, a, I'm really lost for words with the way, the way Kamala Harris is able to keep doing this in, in front of the American people's face and still have the support of folks on the left. It doesn't make sense to me. You know, she puts these folks last. You know, these folks who have been waiting in line for resources, government assistance, you know, food stamps, anything, you know, uh, assistance on their rent. They're putting these folks behind. All these illegal immigrants that are coming into our country. Now she's saying that she's giving um, temporary protective status and she's extending it to over 100,000 illegal immigrants. I mean, come on, you guys. This is your money. This is where your taxpayer dollars goes. Um, and she keeps trying to push that message to say that she's going to help you guys out. I mean, listen to it, guys. We got this tweet here. I definitely have to show you guys. This is coming from Mr. Andy NGO. You can look him up on Twitter. Um, he's tweeting out saying Haitians for Harris protesters are outside of the Trump Long, Isle, Long Island rally um, screaming and shouting at black Trump supporters walking by. Look at this, guys. They treat them so badly. Guys, come on. Look at this. I mean, come on. Immigrants make America great always. No way they actually have this sign right here. Immigrants MAGA. I mean, come on, you guys. If immigrants make America great always, why couldn't they make their country great? I mean, it just does not. Like, these signs, some of this stuff just doesn't make sense, guys. Come on. They're trying to preach patriotism to us? And they can't even make their own. Come on, y'all. I mean, and this isn't even the worst of it, folks. I just had to show you how many of these protesters are gathered outside. I mean, they had, it looks like they may have been busted. I'm, I'd hate to say it, but it looks like they may have been busted. And there's no way. You're telling me that all these folks were able to gather and come to a Trump rally. Guys, look at this. It gets worse. Look at it. We got this is coming from Tim Cass News. He tweets out, says, Haitian anti-Trump protesters jeer at Trump supporters as they walk towards the rally entrance. Look at this, guys. It only gets worse and worse as the sun falls. You know, they wait till dark because they're cowards and start really trying to antagonize and get at the Trump supporters. who are just simply trying to walk into the Trump rally, show their support, guys. Look at this. You never see that from Trump's side. You know, you see people protest, um, you know, just screaming, honking, you know, getting the crowd going. But Never all this hollering and, you know, getting at folks and actually trying to do mean spirited things. It just doesn't make sense. They can't keep the violence out of it. Keep walking. Keep walking. I mean, this just doesn't make sense to me, guys. They really gather here to mess with these folks. And they got the signs. What does it say? It says, we don't eat pets, we vote. I mean, it's just, some of this stuff doesn't make sense to me. You know, we've got 
account on account of definitely something that's going on in Springfield, Ohio. And then on, on top of that, they're saying that we vote. And I'm trying to figure out how we're getting illegal migrants into our election. You know, we're, we're seeing they're overrunning these cities. Springfield, Ohio was what population of 40,000 overran, bust in 20,000 Haitian migrants. Now they're talking about we don't eat vet. You don't eat pets. We vote. I'm so lost, guys. It sounds like exactly what we're seeing. Another steal is gearing up to happen. I don't like what I'm seeing. Like, oh my goodness. They're saying any and everything just at these folks walking by. And then look at this guy. Look at the reaction. So they let those guys kind of walk by. Um, no real... I haven't seen anyone speak to the protesters yet, those who are on the, on the back line, but look at this guy right here. He gives them a run for their money and just look at their reaction. I couldn't understand or I couldn't, I couldn't even begin to imagine myself in this position, um, how I would be, you know, trying to just simply go and show my support for Donald Trump. And then, um, uh, you know, I'm agreed with this. I just don't understand. Look at this guy. Rightfully so. He's claiming this is my, this is my country. USA. They're chanting you. He's chanting USA. They're chanting it back at him while not even. They're not even holding the USA flag. Well, I don't even know what flag is. They're not holding USA flag. They're chanting USA back. They've got this all backwards, guys. Like, come on. And they're, and, they're, and they're chanting shame on you guys. It, it really just doesn't make sense. This is a guy who truly supports his country. You know, a black man who truly supports the betterment of his country. You know, a guy who's actually going to stand for the people. Um, not try to tear this place apart. And they're talking about shame on you guys. This right here just shows they want to turn our country into a third world country. I mean, come on. They don't like what we have going here. And if you want to let them tear it apart, go ahead. Join them. But we can see this guy, this man has a head on his shoulders. He's chanting USA and telling them, hey, go back to your country if you want to do all this. Not in ours, guys. Come on now. Listen to him. And I'm not sure why law enforcement is like so on their side. It seems like they're almost hurrying this guy down. And maybe it's for his safety. But I just feel like they should be a little bit more protective of, you know, this guy and getting these guys out of here. Like, hey, you need to back up a little bit or chill out versus just shooing this guy away. Look at this, guys. <laughs> USA. She's doing it too, guys. She's screaming USA and she's holding this flag. It doesn't make sense to me, guys. They're confused. USA. USA. I told you. I am moving. I haven't stood still. back. Go back and moving. See, like, why is the law enforcement telling these guys they have to get out the way, they have to move, they have to hurry? I mean, they're simply just trying to attend a Trump rally. If these protesters want to protest, scream and shout and waste their voices, waste their breath, let them do it. But you don't have to rush me. I'm not I've been doing this all the time. That right there, it lets me know uh, this, there's a problem, guys. When law enforcement is more inept to protect these illegal immigrants versus our own citizens, guys, I mean, come on. How much worse does it have to be? I am moving. I haven't stood go back, still. Go back I am inside. moving. I am walking with this guy. So respectfully, I haven't stood still. I have it all on camera. I have, I've been moving. I've been moving the entire time, sir. Very respectfully. I mean, come on, you guys. This whole exchange is this disgraceful, man. To see what's going on in America. This is Long Island, New York, guys. I'm not sure who put them up to this, but this is just pathetic. Look at this. I mean, come on, you guys. It doesn't stop there. What I tell you guys, as soon as a night fell, it started getting pretty bad. The Haitians for Harris 
taking on harassment and assaulting other black people on the streets. Look at this, that same guy that we see in the sweatshirt, but look at him now. I mean, this right here is the clip. I'm telling you guys, I can't even imagine how I would begin to respond um, to this whole situation. I mean, it is off putting folks. Look at this. <laughs> So we got this dude in this Kamala Harris shirt and he's got, look, he's got his hands all over him. This is public property. Look at the police. He's telling the police officer, hey, this guy is kicking me out. What, he, you letting this guy kick me out? You're, get this guy off of me. Kamala Harris, 24 shirt. The police do nothing, guys. This right here is what I'm talking about. It really grinds my gears. Look at this. He lets him walk by. What are you not doing your job for, bro? I mean, come on. This guy has no uniform on. He's wearing a freaking comma shirt for Christ. Come on, man. Do your job. Look at this. Yeah. You have to go. Y'all, I, and I hate to make fun of people's accents, but she said, how they let him here? How they let him here? How did he get in here? Is how that should have been said. And for two, this guy is allowed on public property. I mean, he could be anywhere. He could be anywhere on this grass, anywhere on this street. You can't kick this guy out. I mean, come on. This is disgraceful. We're, the guys in uniform are just sitting by watching this happen. This guy's getting thrown out in the streets. Look at this. You hear it, guys? How they let him here? Look, he's literally grabbing this guy's jacket up, snatching him up. See, and this is why, man, right here, a true America First Patriot comes out of nowhere, sending the red, white, and blue. Come on, the stars and the stripes. This right here is what the cops should have been and done. Separated this. Get your hands off of this man. Like, he's got rights too. You're violating them. But you don't know about that. You were just given a Kamala Harris shirt and said, go to the rally, protest Donald Trump. And that's why I think Kamala Harris put them all up to this. I mean, like, come on, look at that, guys. And I'm not sure why the cops go and keep and seal him out. Like, this guy is allowed on this property. This really grinds my gears. Guys. They kicked them both out. Mm -mm -mm. See how we see how they're treating these illegal migrants versus our own citizens, guys. They're putting these guys up on a pedestal. And they're over here treating us like crap. I mean, this guy got kicked out of public property. I mean, I could see if he was, you know, violating someone's rights, you know, actually trying to, I mean, this guy always seen throughout that whole footage of him speaking facts, USA, 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 preaching the truth. We're in the USA. If that bothers you, you can leave. Simple as that. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. Yo, we got Nate talks to you. This is a tweet. Um, he's tweeting now. Haitian Americans are outside of Trump rally. And this is the sign we had just seen, guys. We don't eat pits. We vote. Um, and I just, this is a very off-putting statement. I mean, if you don't eat pets, you don't need a sign for it. <laughs> Two, we vote is really scary because, you know, most illegal, the, we're hearing there's a lot, an influx of illegal Haitians coming to our country. Now you're saying that you don't eat pets, you vote? How are you, vote, voter register, how, how are you voting? How are you registering to vote? I'm, I'm really confused. Who's giving these folks identification, you know? And this is one of the points that I want to bring up. You know, Kamala Harris is, in, is you know, giving these guys protective status, um, you know, giving them up welfare, you know, food stamps, housing, uh, vouchers, whatever, you name it, they're getting it and they're skipping the line for it. And then they're, they're harming the cities. You know, they're, they're we've seen in Springfield, Ohio with the pets, the ducks, the geese, they're even crashing cars, folks. And I wanted to show you just um, a short compilation and I'll, I'll end it here, but I just wanted to show you that the kind of damage they're doing. Um, just imagine if one of your loved ones is driving down the street and someone who doesn't have a license, doesn't know how to drive, actually just rams into the back of them, rams them to the house. I mean, this is becoming a problem. Look at this. They're not just running into cars. They're running literally everything. And I'll mute this because I think it has music. Yes, it does. So just look. I mean, like, come. That's full speed, y'all. And this is no, this is just sad. Come on. Time after time after time. Another one. Just tore the whole front end. 
And it's not just one or two, maybe three occurrences. I mean, talking about this just keeps happening because they're not custom. Um, they don't have a license. They don't have, you know, they're not driving in America. They're not. You, look at this. This is someone's entire garage slammed into. I mean, imagine you're sleeping in your house and someone just drives into the side of your house. And then you find out they don't have a license. They're not even a citizen, um, illegal immigrant. And they've been given all these opportunities, these chances at the American dream provided by Kamala Harris. Yours truly, guys. Come on now. I mean, this is the part that really upsets me, especially, if you know, you have, um, you know, you're just anybody, family and loved ones that are on the street, walking around, driving around on a bike. Heck, you're in your house. Come on, I'm in my house. You think you're in the, you know, the safety of your own home and you're not even safe there. They can run straight through. Oh, my. God. Look at this, guys. Straight in your house. I just can't. I can't make this kind of stuff up. You know, it, there's a reason why it's happening, and it's because they're just, they're not verifying these folks. They're not putting them through the proper measures in order to get them in here. You know, you have to go through certain safety courses, um, driver's education in order to get your license. But no, they're skipping the line. They're allowing them to just do and say whatever they want to do. Oh, my goodness. That one looked terrible. They had that truck, like, on top of another. Like, that right there is a scary sight. It's on top of two different cars. Oh my goodness, guys, that right there speaks volumes. I mean, come on. This is what Kamala Harris is giving um, temporary protective status for. She's protecting these folks. They keep trying to cover up, lie, and gaslight and say there's no issue. There's no problem whatsoever. We can see right here, there's clearly an issue. Y'all hop in the comment section, y'all. Let me know your thoughts, what y'all getting from it. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you'd enjoy more content like this, catch you guys on the next one. We got. <laughs>